Three months ago, 19-year-old Brandon Faison was murdered in the city's most deadly district. And so far, no arrests. This evening, new video. Baltimore Police Department homicide detectives need your help. Newly released video from a neighborhood doorbell camera captures a male Baltimore police say they need help identifying in connection to the murder of 19-year-old Brandon Faison. Metro Crime Stoppers posting the late teen's picture with an $8,000 reward. Who do I have father alert? 2501 Avenue, 8 rounds, 247. Fox 45 News obtained 911 dispatch audio that captures police responding to a shot spotter alert in West Baltimore's Evergreen Lawn community just before 3 a.m. back on June 24th. In the 900 block of North Warwick Avenue, investigators say officers found the teen with multiple gunshot wounds. He's still here with us, but he's only out of consciousness. And for medic was already ordered. And you say where he shot at again? We'll probably see one of the avenues. And, uh... Two in the legs. Yeah, but appears to be a dull male, but could be a young adult male. I know it's a juvenile. The teen was pronounced dead at an area hospital. Faison was murdered in the city's most deadly district, West Baltimore. According to the latest statistics, the Western District continues to lead all other city districts in homicides with at least 45 murders and non fatal shootings with at least 116 victims since redistricting in July 2023. Just two months ago, I questioned Baltimore Police Commissioner Richard Worley on the violence in the Western District after a sudden spike in crime. We've noticed it uh, early on, the, the continued violence in the Western. It's frustrating a little bit because we've got a lot of resources there. The Western District is where Mayor Brandon Scott launched his group violence reduction strategy back in 2022. I also questioned Scott then on the effectiveness of the program. As I always say, women lie, men lie, numbers don't. The numbers will tell you, and we have the academic support to say that it does work. I think that you're, you're also letting out that we know that violence, hom even homicides in the Western District are still down from where they were last year. We know that GVRS works no matter how many people may want to say it doesn't work. Faison, now one of the latest and youngest to fall victim to violence in the Western District. His case unsolved. Baltimore police hoping you can help. Again, an $8,000 reward on the table for information that might lead to an arrest. Anyone with any information on this case is asked to call police. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.